awesome family and welcome back to my channel for another exciting installment of part two of the Tokyo Disney Parks haul. Now I know the first one was uh, pretty well received so I'm hoping that you guys are going to love this one just as much and if you haven't had an opportunity to watch the first one I'm going to pop the link up above here for you guys to go and check that out. Something that I will say is you don't have to watch them in order. You can watch them in any way that you would please. It's not like a sequel or prequel type of action so any order that you want to watch them is fine with me and you won't be missing out on a thing. <laughs> Like I said in the first video, this is a pretty large haul video, so if you're not into haul videos, this may not be the video for you. I'll pop a video that you may like up in the corner here for you to check out just in case. But if you like haul videos, you've definitely found the right place. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy the haul. We're going to start exactly where we left off in part one, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this Tokyo Disney merchandise. Okay, next we're going to move on to pass haul cases. So these are the little plush cases that you wear as a necklace and in the back they have a place where you can put like your Tokyo Disney ticket, your monorail ticket, your bus pass, whatever you need basically in the back and then there's a zipper pouch in the center. So I got a significant amount of these. These were all around 1800 yen so I'm just gonna go through them somewhat quickly but there's a few things that I'm going to show you in detail about each one that is really unique and really fun and I want to show you the straps to them because they all have something to do with the characters. Okay, let's start with Winnie the Pooh. So here is Winnie the Pooh. So freaking cute. Here's the detail on the back of the bag. So you have your pass holder. So they all their pass holders have this little pouch and this is where you like can reach in and grab your ticket and it has little poo pot and or poo pot. <laughs> No, 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 a honey pot. He doesn't go poo in that pot, I swear. So he's got a honey pot and a bee. And this is one of the old style ones because it still has one of their retractable clasps on it. This is something they no longer do with the new style, which I'm very disappointed in because I do think that that's a really cool feature. And then here is the little zipper pouch and then you can put fun things in there. I use this mostly to put my pressed pennies and to put change because Japan is a very cash-based area. So we used a lot of cash while we were there. And then I want to show you this beautiful strap that has honey pots, bees, and little leaves and stars floating through it. So pretty. I love it so much. Okay, moving on. I'm just going to keep to I'm just going to keep standing because I don't want to keep sitting back down. So we have Randall freaking Boggs. Are you ding -a -ding kidding me? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The thing about him, look at his fur. He looks like he's scaled. That's incredible. On the back, he does have the Monsters Inc. emblem on his pass holder. And I'm not going to open all of these guys. They're all very similar in size. But this is his strap. It's got Tokyo Disney Resort and then it's also got the Monsters Inc. emblem. Next on the list, we're going to keep it monster style. We have Mr. Mike was asking himself, look at his arms. <laughs> oh, I love him so much. He is just adorable. I love what they did with this pass holder. I'm so glad that they gave him an entire body. Incredible. And then can we talk about who he's got on his pass holder? It's Mike Jr. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. It is so cute. The details. And then on his strap, it's just the Monsters Inc. emblem over and over and over again. I absolutely love this pass holder. One of my favorites that I got. Next in line, this one got some use and actually it got rained on so hard, so he's a little bit fluffy. I'm going to go and actually brush over him with a comb. The thing that I like about this Sully is he looks so gentle and so sweet in this pass holder. I just think he's so, so, so cute. And then on the back, he's also got the monsters emblem, and his is the same as Mike's with the monsters ink emblem. Next, oh, my new love, Shandu. 
Oh, oh my goodness, did I fall in love with this freaking tiger? Everyone said, you know what? Everyone says it when they go to Tokyo Disney. They're like, Shandu is everything. Um, that is no lie. Hashtag Tokyo Next Level. He is the cutest animatronic that you will ever find in a ride. Like he is so freaking cute. He's on Shan um he's on I have, I call the ride Shandu. It's not called Shandu, it's Sinbad's Journey or something along those lines. I'm obsessed. So here is Shandu wearing his hat. Can we talk about the rhinestone? Stunning. Look at his cute, sweet face. Oh my gosh. And then here's the back and it has a feather and Sinbad and then it's also got a little cloud. And then his, his is just like this filigree kind of-esque band. I think it's stunning. And it's gold, which is also super cool. Love Shandu. And then we're gonna go to Disney Cats. Uh, excuse. Um, my baby Gelatoni. Oh my gosh, Gelatoni is literally everything. He's so precious. This pass holder is so cool. Look how it says his name. Is that so pretty? And then it says Tokyo Disney. Oh no, it says a Disney friend of Duffy. Oh my gosh. And again, this material is the same as like the big plushes. He is like so much softer. I wish I could like hand this to you guys to feel. Look at the denseness of his fur. Incredible. Hey guys. <laughs> He's so cute. And so soft. Okay, um, Disney Cat Marie. Is she freaking adorable? Look at her details on the back. The Eiffel Tower, paw prints, and music notes. How perfect is that? Look at also her tuft of hair. It looks so fluffy and fun. And then her strap is all music notes and they're all in baby pink and like a brighter pink. And this pass holder is just super fun. Next, we're gonna move on to Dalmatians. This one also, oh, this one's got something in it. <gasps> Treasures. Oh, <laughs> okay, we've got, we've got 100, 200, 300, 300, 400, and 30 yen. Woo, I'm rich. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. So anyway, we have Lucky, the pass holder. And he is just looking super cute. This one got some good use when I was in Tokyo Disney Sea. And he just so precious. And he's got his little spots. The one thing that I thought was weird, when you turn him around, he doesn't have any spots like on his pass holder. And they continued that like on Soli, so I was kind of surprised to see the back of the pass holder not have spots, but I mean, it's not a big deal. And it's got little paw prints and bones. And then his strap is Dalmatian spots. Oh, so cute. Next, oh my goodness. Um, it's a cheeseburger, love it so, so much. This is so Tokyo Disney, I can't even describe it. Also, can we talk about the hidden Mickey and the sesame seeds? Yes. Look at how fluffy the lettuce is. <laughs> they just did such a good job with this. And then, the thing I love about it, on the back, it's got Mount Prometheus, which is the volcano in Tokyo Disney Sea, and then it's got Cinderella Castle, which is in Tokyo Disney Land, and then music notes on the back. And there's an unused fast pass in here um, from when we were there. And then one of my tickets while we were there too. I'm just gonna kind of leave them in there for fun. But uh, yeah. <laughs> and then the strap is all hidden Mickeys. So cute. Next, we have Donald Duck. Okay, the thing, okay, let me fix this. The thing that the best part about the Donald Duck pass holder is his bill. And also, can you guys see the hashtag Tokyo Next Level? Look, his little tongue is in there. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. And he's got his little hat, his little sailor hat. Oh gosh, he's just looking so cute. It's also got unused fast passes in the back. We were really bad about using fast passes, guys. We were just like so all over the place with this trip because you can't do a lot of planning. And then his detail on the strap is little life preservers and little anchors. 
super cute. Next, and I, oh, best for last, guys. Look at him. Is he stunning or what? So I used him when I went to Tokyo Disney Sea. His eyebrows are everything. <laughs> Look at those caterpillars. <laughs> and then he's got a little heart on the back that says, hug me. Ugh, lots of, you're everything. And then his strap, is little pictures of him and little broken hearts. And I just think it's so wonderful. It's perfect. Okay, so that's all the pass holders I got. Just a few, no big. So we're gonna move on to apparel. So, I didn't go too crazy. You guys would be pretty proud of me. I got like six or seven. It's fine. <laughs> Three, four, five. Oh my gosh, I only got five. Dang, I'm super proud of myself. So I had to get this. I did wear this in the park, so it is a little bit dirty, so just bear with. But this is the Usa Pio shirt that is from Tokyo Disney Sea. And it does have a rainbow detail on the collar, which I think is so nice. And then it's got the Fab Five in their Easter outfits. And it also has little usapios. And on the sleeve, it has Disney Easter. I love the polka dots. I love the pastel rainbow. It's just definitely my aesthetic. I wore this with overalls one of the days that we were there. Loved it. I have no idea how much it cost, <laughs> I'm sorry. And then, you can't go to Tokyo Disney without getting you an all over print girl, or boy, y'all, whoever, best friends, family. <laughs> I've been recording for an hour and a half. <sighs> okay, <clears throat> uh, yes, can we talk about this? Um, uh, amazing, number one. Okay, not only do I love Prince Eric, can we talk about Ursula? Yes, queen, like that is a pose if I've ever seen one. <laughs> also, where is he? Where is he? Where is daddy though? Oh, there he is. Look at how amazing he looks. That is the most jolly and unstern daddy I have ever seen. I love that they have him being so joyful on this print. Ariel looks stunning. Eric is so handsome. This is my most favorite print. I know that you guys probably see this in every Tokyo Disney haul, but I am so happy I got this. This was, <sighs> it costs money. I don't know how much. <laughs> and then I also got, oh wait, 2,900 yen. So that was 2,900 yen because this is also an all over print with Pooh and friends. Oh my goodness. Is this gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Piglet's face, he's like, ooh, so excited. This was me the whole time at Disney. I was Piglet. <laughs> Except I had like this giant bow. So Piglet was wearing this bow, that was like 100% me. The next thing I got is a Tokyo Disney shirt, 2,300 yen, ridiculous pricing. I love this shirt so much. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you why, um, because it has literally everything that you need from Tokyo. So it's got a poop stain. I don't know what this is. Why is there a brown stain on it? I don't understand, so ignore that. But look at this. So we have Mermaid Lagoon represented. We have the little ice lolly, the Mickey Mouse churro. Okay, can someone tell me who this chunky dolphin is? Uh, because he's my spirit animal, okay? That is me in animal form. <laughs> chunky dolphin, what is that? You have flounder, you got popcorn, you got the three caballeros, you've got country bears, you got Shandu and you have Genie and Mickey Mouse, and I am just, and oh, um, Daddy's Trident, no? Yes, this shirt is everything. I was so excited. This was one of the ones I wanted so badly going there, and I'm like, oh my gosh, please be there. I found it on the last day, the last gift shop we went into, and I was like, it was meant to be! And then on the back, it's just got this little detail of one of the mops from the uh, Fantasia, which is super cool. 
living. Yes, I love that shirt so hard. This shirt is the ultimate shirt. I probably said that about every shirt. It just keeps getting better. 3,900 yen, expensive, don't care. <sighs> this is a brand new design of theirs. I can't, I'm so excited to wear this. I'm not, I have no words. I have no words. This shirt is huge. It's oversized, it's supposed to be that way. Look how stunning Ariel looks. And it says Ariel and her friends. And it's definitely from the Under the Sea theme, or song, excuse me, Under the Sea song. On the back, it says Under the Sea, the conga line fish. Some of my favorites from that scene. Yes, living. And then, um, Flounder and Sebastian look so freaking adorable, I can't hardly stand it. Hashtag Tokyo Next Level. I love this shirt so much. So much. Love it. It's actually in the wash when I was doing the Tokyo Disney haul. And so I wanted to show you this amazing hoodie that I got. Like I mentioned several times, it was pretty cold and pretty rainy. So I ended up buying this hoodie and actually putting it under my rain jacket. But look how cool this emblem is. It says Team, Team Disney, and it's got Mount Prometheus from Disney Sea and the Cinderella Castle, but look at all of the nephews so and nieces. So it's got Mickey's nephews, Donald's nephews, Daisy's nieces, and then there's Max Goof. And my understanding of what this print actually is was from the 1983 opening which is super cool. The other great thing about this hoodie, it doesn't have a kangaroo pocket, which is a little bit odd, but it's long as heck. It actually goes past my butt, which I absolutely love. In the frame, it looks actually kind of short, but I assure you it's very, very long. And I'm a very tall person, and these sleeves are so long that they actually cover my thumbs, which is, I'm living for this sweatshirt. I just wish it wasn't in white. Because, let me know down below, but I feel like I always ruin white clothing, so I'm like being very, very careful with this. But I wanted to show you this. I believe this was around $45, if I remember correctly. The next thing that we're gonna go over is pins. So, something I have to say about pins, they don't have very many, and they're not that great. Eee, I said it. So, I was expecting when we went there that they weren't gonna be great, but I didn't know how bad they were going to be. <laughs> They were not good pins. They just flat out weren't. And there's nothing wrong with that, but they did have some pins that like really touched my heart and like really stood out to me. So I did buy some of them. This is not like my normal pin haul that you would see. And then they also had buttons too that I had to buy. So we're gonna start with the pins that we won during the carnival game. So Jesse and I really wanted the pins uh, from the carnival games because we didn't want to bring home one of the large plush pillows. They were giving away plush pillows and I just didn't really love them. And plus I really did want the pins. So we chose at Tokyo Disneyland these two and there actually are not pins technically they just have clasps on them to hang on maybe your backpack but we got goofy and donald the usatama on the run with the little usatamas that were for the disney easter i thought they were pretty cute and then we got at tokyo disney sea we did get actual pins these are real pins with pin backs and stuff but we got chip and dale Chippendale in their little Easter outfits and they have little usapios on the bottom of their little eggs. They're popping out of eggs, which I thought was super adorable. And I'm really glad to add these to my collection. I'm gonna have a little Tokyo collection now, which I'm kind of excited about because I just, this experience of going was super duper duper special to me and I'm super thankful that I got to go. So we're gonna start with the most generic pins that you can buy there and it's Tokyo Disney Sea and Tokyo Disney Resort pins. So here's what they look like. They are soft enamel. They're pretty poor quality, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, their images on them are a little bit grainy, a little bit old looking. Um, the Disney on Disney Sea all the fab fiber represented in the I-S-N-E-Y, which is kind of cool. And then the little globe is actually reminiscent of the globe that's at the front of the park. So one of those things that's just a souvenir that I really wanted 
and then there's Tokyo Disney Resort and there's like little representations of different things from that resort. So they're fine, not the greatest. I'm a pin collector, so I felt that I needed to have them. They were 800 yen a piece. Now let's move on to ride pins. I had two ride pins. Both were 1,000 yen. The first pin is the Ride and Go Seek, the Monsters, Inc. Ride and Go Seek, which was such a unique and cool ride. I believe I got pretty good ride footage that I'm gonna include in the vlogs, but I love that it's got Sully popping out with his little flashlight because you shine flashlights on things and then the ride reacts. And then there's Mike and little Boo with their little hard hats on. I think it's just super duper precious. And then also we got the Tower of Terror pin because it was such a unique story and it was absolutely so different from the parks in the United States. It has this little tiki guy, I don't know what his name is, but he actually haunts the ride and he haunts the guy that owns the tower, the High Tower Hotel. And um, yeah, it's just a really different story. It's all in Japanese, but you can kind of understand what's going on. And it was just very strange and very, like it was creepy. I don't know how to describe it actually. It was definitely a different ride and so I wanted to commemorate it in some way. Next two pins I'm gonna show you are Easter pins. And one is from Tokyo Disneyland and one's from Tokyo Disney Sea. I just wanted to get the pins that represented both parks for their specialty event that we got to go to. So again, it's gonna be Usatama and Usapio themed. So here's the one for Tokyo Disney Sea, and it says Disney Easter 2019, and it's got the little Usapio on the bottom, and it's got the little Usapios behind Mickey and Minnie with the pastel rainbow. Again, this design is so darn pretty, but the thing about it is, is that, I don't know if you can tell on the screen, but it really is poor quality. It's kind of grainy, and the metal seems like kind of jaggedy inside of the enamel. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just a little bit different. We are used to such high quality pins in the United States. And so it was kind of surprising to see how poor their quality of pins were. Sorry, I dropped a pin. <laughs> okay. And then here is the Usatama pin from Tokyo Disneyland. So you've got Mickey and his Usatama on the run parade outfit. And then this Usatama actually does, uh, it is a sliding element. So you can see it slides up and down. So it's pretty cool, it says Disney Easter 2019. Again, I love all the Usatama and Usapios. So I'm always welcome to having those in my collection. And the thing <laughs> that bothered me about this pin Everything that is supposed to be black is actually red. <laughs> and I don't know why it bugs me so much, but it, like, it drives me crazy seeing Mickey Mouse as red instead of black. It just is like, no, that's not what he's supposed to be like. So anyway, I'm just picky gal. We have two more pins left. This pin set, it, this one is a set. They only bring out during rainy days. And, um, I don't know if we want to say that we were lucky enough to get this pin uh, because the rain kind of wore on me uh, the second the second day that it rained so hard where it was like so cold you could barely function. But it is cool that they have specialty merchandise to kind of help boost your mood a little bit. It was pretty unpleasant. But these pins are actually the best quality and actually the neatest. So I'm really excited to share these with you. This is their rainy day Mickey and Minnie and I just thought they were so cute. They're little umbrellas, and Jesse and I both brought new umbrellas while we were there, and then they have little raindrops, and the raindrops are actually blue crystals, and I just thought that these were super duper cool and so appropriate for our trip. Like, it was so rainy, and I, it just kind of holds a special place in my heart, you know? It was like our first experience, and yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm thankful that we got, um, that we got to experience Tokyo Disney in general, but this is definitely like trip specific for us. So anyway, kind of fun. And then the very last pin, it was the most expensive pin and the largest pin that I got, 1400 yen. And I got it because it was beautiful. It doesn't match any of my collections. I just liked how it looked, <laughs> which is so bad. I shouldn't do that because it's just, it's hard to like make your uh, it's hard to make your pins collection specific when you have things that you're like I like that I'm gonna buy that but anyway what I love about it 
is there are so many glitter elements and they're all like this soft iridescent glitter which is so pretty and then i love the hidden mickey rose like is that amazing and this pin is like twice as large as any of the other pins again not the best quality as you can see but a really nice pretty design and jesse and i just celebrated our 10-year wedding anniversary so I thought that was kind of fun to kind of include that uh, in my pin collection. So yeah, so that's my last pin from Tokyo Disney. You guys may know I'm like really into Smash Pennies, so I'm gonna do a flyover of all my Smash Pennies. I'll show you the ones that I purchased while I was there because they had some really cool ones and I do wanna show you those. These are my little mermaid smashed pennies. These are from the Mermaid Lagoon area in Disney Sea. So you have Ariel, Sebastian, and Flounder. And then these are from Tokyo Disney Sea. These are the Gelatoni Smashed Pennies. And you'll see on the top one, it actually has a seagull. And that was part of his theming in the Cape Cod area. There was this seagull. And he went along with all of the Duffy and Friends as kind of a theme for that certain area of the park. And then we have these really cool ones. This is Stitch in Experiment. I believe it's Experiment 625. It's the guy that loves the sandwiches. I can't remember what his name is, but I thought these were so darn cute and we really enjoyed the stitch experience. And you guys will see that on the vlogs. It was all in Japanese, but oh my gosh, it was so adorable. And then these are my favorite pennies. These are the monorail pennies and there's two different types of monorail pennies. The top one is just like your side view. And then the next one is the Disney Resort line. And that was actually the view that you would see as you would go into the entrance of the park at Tokyo Disney Sea. That kind of angle with that hotel in the background. And then moving over here, we have the Disney Easter pennies. And that's with Mickey with Usatama on the run. And then above that is Donald with the Usatama on the run. And then the Tokyo Disney Sea version which is at the very bottom with Chip and Dale and a little bee and they're in their little Easter eggs. And if you guys saw earlier in the haul, we got pins that actually match that particular graphic there. And then moving on to a 2019 penny, this one's kind of solo here, but it's really cool. It's got the monorail in the background and it says 2019 and then it's got Clarice. And for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you may know that I did get to meet Clarice. That's also going to be in the vlogs. That was so exciting. She was one of the people on my bucket list to meet. And I was so jazzed that we got to see her. And then we're going to go up here in Adventureland. They had some really unique pennies of Winnie the Pooh and friends. So it's got Pooh, Eeyore, and Roo. And they're all in little safari outfits, which I thought was really cool. And then we have a couple of Pirates pennies. We have Pete at the top and then Tick Tock Croc at the bottom. And I will say that we didn't get to ride Pirates. It was actually down for refurbishment while we were there, but I really liked these pennies and so I decided to go ahead and purchase them. And then we're on to just kind of generic pennies here. We have Horace and Clarabelle Cow. I just thought such a unique opportunity to get some Horace and Clarabelle Cow merchandise, so I decided to go ahead and purchase them. And then here at the top, we have Minnie Mouse in a traditional Japanese outfit. And this is for Tokyo Disney Sea. And it does say 2019 on the top. Again, I thought it was very unique to that park. And then we have a 2019 Donald Duck Penny where he's kind of in a very dapper outfit there. That's also Tokyo Disney Sea. And then the Tokyo Disney Land Penny has the castle and Mickey and Minnie holding a Mickey balloon. And it's not dated or anything, but I did think that that was a classic image on the penny. So those are my little souvenir pennies. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know down below if you guys also collect souvenir pennies. This is quite the little souvenir penny haul from one trip, I thought. <laughs> I was smashing pennies like no one's business. And then I got a first visit button. This button was 310 yen. It's got Mickey Mouse and it says first visit with a rainbow. They love rainbows over there and I love that they love rainbows. It makes me so happy. And they have Cinderella Castle and Mount Prometheus. And this is just everything. I'm making a specific Tokyo pin board 
this is gonna be part of it, along with, we got our like first visit stickers that they give you, so that's gonna go along with it as well. And then, oh my gosh, I got a freaking pin drawstring bag that is the same exact print as the all over print t-shirt. I love it. This drawstring bag was 650 yen and it's got like these shoestring drawstrings. It's super heavy duty and like a really nice canvas. I have some regrets not getting more of these because I think they're super cool. Okay, and next we are gonna move on to this giant bag of plushes. <laughs> oh wait, I wanna show you this bag first. So here is the Tokyo Disney Sea side and it's got Mickey, Minnie, Donald and Daisy, and then it's got little Usapios and Chip and Dale, and those little Usapios are everywhere. Then at the top, it's got this beautiful rainbow with all of the Usapios all over it, which I love. And it says Disney Easter 2019. And then I wanna show you the top of this bag and the sides of this bag. So the top of the bag is half Disney Sea and half Disneyland. It's just hashtag Tokyo Next Level. Like these details are insane. And then on this side, it's clear. That's the other thing that's kind of cool about this bag. It's got clear sides and it says Disney Easter 2019. And then it's got all of these. That's the Usatama on the run side. Okay, so this is the Usatama on the run side. So you got all your little Usatamas. And then on this side, it's got all of your little Usa POs. And it says Disney Easter 2019. Insane. And then on this side, you have your Tokyo Disneyland version, which is your Usatama on the run theme. And it's got Mickey and Minnie and Pluto and tons and tons of Usatamas, Dis uh, Daisy, Donald, Minnie Mouse. And then my favorite Usatama is this, look at her living her life, not being extra at all with that hair and those sunglasses and shoes. Oh my gosh, I loved these Usatamas. There were several of them in the parade. You'll see them in the vlogs, but they were so fun. I believe this bag was around a thousand yen. I I'm sorry, I don't remember, but it's super heavy duty and I think it's stunning. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to plushes. So that was the bag that held the plushes and now we're gonna go into the plushes. So we're gonna start with Shandu. So they had several different versions of the Shandu plush. This one I thought was the cutest. It's actually got, you know, it's got like bean bags in its little tummy. So it's kind of heavy and it like kind of plops down. So he like is all spread out when you lay him down and I think it's so darn cute. And so here he is. It's kind of a smaller plush. Look at his sweet face. And then he's got his beautiful hat. And this hat is like a really nice nylon material. And you can see like the little gathering around his jewel and the detail. And I just think he is stunning. And he also has this little bell that he wears. It's a fake bell, but it is represented in his little paw prints. And yeah, I think he is just super cute. He was 3,600 yen. Something that I did notice was that their plushes were a lot more expensive than most all of their other merchandise. But also their plushes are so much more high quality and you're gonna see that in the next few plushes. So you guys know how much I love Lotso. And when I went there and saw this, I freaked out. The quality of this Lotso is nuts. <laughs> Hashtag Tokyo Next Level. He is so, I, I wish I could just like hand these to you so you can feel them. He is the softest material I have ever felt. Also, he's gorgeous. Look at his face. <laughs> oh wait, his eyebrows are a little messed up. Hang on. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Hey girl, hey. Hey girl, what you doing? <laughs> Look. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, those eyebrows are killer. Okay, so he's got these like incredible eyebrows. And then look at how plush he is. So it reminds me of like in the like 
in the early 90s when we used to get like plushes they would be this quality like I feel like this is going to literally last a lifetime he's different than the other lots of bears the other lots of bears have a very heavy like beanbag bottom he has a little bit of beanbags in his tum tum which are scented he does smell like your typical lotso strawberry scent he is the size of i believe the 12 inch plush but my goodness his quality is so different from the regular plushes that we get in the u.s look at how lush his fur is oh my goodness I love him so much. He was, yeah, 3,400 yen. Again, a little bit more pricey, but for the quality, it's amazing. He's actually gonna go on my shelf because I do not want him to get anywhere at all. <laughs> He's a showpiece. <laughs> kind of like me. <laughs> no, that's not, that's not true. Um, can we talk Delatoni? So I got my very first Delatoni. That was on my bucket list. He's adorable. So I will say I was not going to buy him an outfit until I saw that his outfit for spring was actually a rain jacket. <laughs> so as you've heard a couple of times, it poured <laughs> and we had worn our rain jackets the whole time and so I thought it was super appropriate for me to get a gelatoni and dress him in a rain jacket don't you think his outfit was $45 or 4,500 yen yes <laughs> I know <laughs> very expensive it was actually more than he was he was 3,900, but again, with the quality, I will zoom in or, or stand up and show you guys a little bit about him. So there's his gorgeous face. He's got his little um, beret. And then look at this pea coat. Like he's got a little shirt underneath that is like kind of nautical themed. So it's blue and white. And then he's got these like, look at these little buttons and the little details on his jacket. And then I love this about Gelatoni and the plushes, which I know it's very common. I just wanna show you guys though, like look how precious his little Mickey paws are. I love his little Mickey paws. I think they're so darn cute. And then the other cool thing is they do have a paper book. This is an actual book inside of his tag. And actually, why don't I take it out? I just wanna be really careful, so I'm gonna set him down for a moment. Really did not wanna damage this book, but I do wanna show you. So it's got a little story of Gelatoni. And he's there with Duffy, and he's painting a picture, oh my gosh. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> and then, oh my gosh, this is so adorable. He's there with Mickey Mouse and Duffy and then they're painting a Mickey Mouse painting together. Oh, my heart. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. And then on the back, so I'll show you the rest of the, um, the Gelatoni. Sorry, I wanted to show you that though. Uh, the back of the Gelatoni <laughs> raincoat has little cat ears, which is insane. And then it does have a little like belt to go around his rain jacket. And then he's got these like little pants and his little tail pops out of the pants. And they're cuffed with like this little blue denim. And then look at those bean toes. Obsessed with the bean toes. And then his tag says Gelatoni. And then on the back it says Tokyo Disney Sea. So adorable. I wanted him so badly. Okay, and then we have one more Gelatoni plush that I got. This is a little backpack charm that has a clasp on it that you hang from the back of your backpack. But wait, you pull his tail <laughs> and then you can put stuff into his back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was not going to get this and then I saw it in real life and I was like, I gotta get this. But it kind of looks like a little bit like a dead cat. So I would suggest maybe putting some things in there so he looks less limp. Um, but people had these on their backpacks everywhere. They had each one of the characters. So they had Duffy, Shelly Mae, Stella Lou, and Gelatoni. And it was just so fun. 
look how pretty he is again with the the details i want to show you his little zipper butt <laughs> Oh, it just kills. I love it. And his coloring is so different than I had expected. I'd never seen him in real life. And his coloring really is like a gray green color, which is definitely different than you would have um, or I expected for him. I thought he was going to be more gray, but he's definitely a green tinge. And those bean toes, though. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay. And we are on to our last subject, guys. And that is stationery. So we have a postcard that I got from the Mermaid Lagoon, which was my most favorite place in the world. Tokyo Disney Sea is now 100% my most favorite park that I've ever visited in my entire life, mainly because of Mermaid Lagoon, but it is just so next level, next level. So this, I actually got two of these. Um, it's just the Little Mermaid, but it's got Daddy and Flounder and Sebastian. And I just think that she looks so pretty in this print. And I will be framing this for sure. I will not be sending this anywhere, but it does have like the typical postcard things on the back. But um, this goes with the concert. There's King's Triton's concert that happens. And we got some really good footage of that that we're gonna show you in the vlogs, but it's a concert that is very Las Vegas-esque, <laughs> which I was very surprised by actually. So. That is uh, something to look forward to in the vlogs for sure. Those were 200 yen and I did get two of them. The next thing I got, which I know it's kind of weird, but I did give a couple of these to Jackie because she loves stationery as much as I do. And I wanted her to have a couple of pins. These pins were 1800 yen, but they are all of the prints from the all over print t-shirts. So the one that's missing, Jackie has the Aladdin one. So there's Little Mermaid, Rapunzel, and then there's Beauty and the Beast, Toy Story, and the Fab Five that are all represented. And these are gel pins and they write amazingly. And then another one that I got that she has one of is the Fab, oh, it's not the Fab Five. I take that back. It's just a pin set that has Winnie the Pooh, Stitch, Mickey, Minnie, Donald, and then Jackie took Daisy. And this is a regular ballpoint pin. It's not a gel pin. And these were 1900. The thing I love about these style of pins is that they're so fat. I really like a good fat juicy pin. Um, let me know down below if you agree. <laughs> <laughs> Fat Juicy Pin Club. And then the last pin that I got was so cool. It's probably not very functional, but it's so Tokyo Disney. This was um, 780 yen. And this is a, it's a churro, but it's a Mickey churro. <laughs> <laughs> which is what they have at the park, which I think is hilarious. So there it is with the Mickey and it comes in. So this is an actual sleeve that you get there that is the snack. And I just think it's so, so funny. And I just thought it would be really fun on a shelf. I haven't written with this yet, so I don't know how it writes. It just seems like it would be a little awkward because I don't think the actual cardboard comes off. I'm not sure. I'll have to let you guys know what I think about this pin. Oh shoot, I wasn't done with pins. I'm sorry. I got another pin set that was super cool. So this is the pin set that is all of the different treats that are from Disney. So you have the Mike Wazowski melon bread, you have the cheeseburger, you have the flounder dessert, and then you have a little alien mochi. This was 20, uh, I'm sorry, 2000 yen, around $20. And I didn't get to try all of these. I didn't get the hamburger and I didn't get the flounder, but I did get the Mike melon bread and the alien mochi and I enjoyed them so, so much. And yeah, I really thought this pin set was very Tokyo next level extra. And so I had to get it. And I was a little bit sad that I didn't get the flounder dessert. So I'm kind of glad that I got it here. That's another one that I want to go back for. I definitely want to go back and get that dessert so I can have that mug because it would go perfectly in my collection. One of the regrets I have, I have a couple regrets, but I mean, honestly, nothing that can't be remedied with another trip, right? <laughs> 
The next thing that I got are pencil cases and also like maybe travel zipper pouches. I got this for Jackie as a gift and I also got one for myself because I kind of fell in love with it. It's a Duffy zipper pouch set that is Cape Cod. So his themed area over there is Cape Cod. And so there's one that's just Cape Cod holiday. And then there's one with him and Shelly Mae. And then there's one with them. Look how cute they are. They're in their little sea outfits, their little sea holiday outfits. And I just really liked it. And then on the back, it said, it was a lovely day at the seashore. Duffy and Shelly Mae had fun walking on the sand and picking up seashells. And then it's got like the little Cape Cod area and you can see their little paw prints in the sand. Oh my gosh, the details. And then all the little seagulls and lighthouses and sailboats so freaking cute i love this and it doesn't i haven't actually gotten it out of the packaging but it does feel like it's almost waterproof that was 2800 yen and then the last thing i'm going to show you is super cool little sticky notes so as you know i love little mermaid and this was something that they had that was 400 yen that's ariel with her dress and then look what you can do with it so you can actually write on her little dress and then it folds up to be a standing note for someone. I just thought that was so freaking cool. And then I also got the King Triton concert stickies and the Ursula dungeon stickies. Those two were 350 yen a piece. And then I got, these are so freaking cool. These are origami heart origami heart stick they're not stickies I take that back they're just notes but you write a note and then you fold them into a heart shape these were 400 yen and they have so many different this is actually um, they do have Tiana in this one which is good so they have Tiana Sleeping Beauty Belle and Beast Rapunzel and Flynn Aladdin and Jasmine Eric and Ariel Cinderella and Prince Charming and then Snow White and Florian and Tiana and Naveen. Amazing. I love these. They're so cute. And this is an, what's really cool about what they do is that is an actual example of how it looks so you know what it looks like. Now, this is so awesome. I also love, I mean, I've said that a hundred times. I'm so sorry, but this is super cool. So this is actually the Disney t-shirts that they have inside of the parks. And if you can't afford to buy every single t-shirt, you can have them in origami form. And so I was thinking about hanging up a little clothesline on one of my shelves and like making all of these little t-shirts and putting them up because I thought that would be so darn cool. And then the other thing I really like about this is it has my t-shirt that I bought right there. The one that has my uh, dolphin spirit animal. The absolute final thing of this haul, and if you've made it this far, you're an angel, is I got the Mickey soap. I was so excited about this. So they just finished the 35 celebration. This was something that was super popular during the 35th happiest celebration. And I was afraid that it was not going to be something that I could pick up and I was really sad. And then when I came there and I saw that they had a new design of it, I was so excited. It's 1200 yen and it's a foam soap. It looks like a classic blue china type, which is kind of fun. And then on the back, it shows you what it does. So when you pump the soap into your hand, it makes a Mickey out of the soap, which is insane. I'm super happy about this. I did not think I was gonna be able to get this. I ended up getting one for my mom because she watches my nephew while my brother goes to work. Um, and so I wanted her to have this for him because he's a Mickey Mouse freak. And then I wanted one for me because I am also a Disney freak. So that works out. <laughs> So we'll have matching soap dispensers. But the thing that I like about this is you can actually refill it with Bath and Body Works liquid foaming soap. So it doesn't have to be just uh, the soap that's in here. You can reuse it with that any foaming soap that you want, which is super 
duper fun. Wow, okay, if you guys made it to the end of this video, you guys are absolute rock stars. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know down below what you liked from this video, what your favorite item was from this video. I have way, way too many to name, <laughs> way too many to name. Something that I will say is that if you're worried about missing out on any more Tokyo Disney videos, do not fret. I have a Tokyo Disney store haul that's gonna be coming your way, plus all of our Tokyo Disney vlogs. I'm hoping to release at least one of those per week for your enjoyment. So I hope that you guys enjoy those videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing so you can find my videos a little bit easier in your feed on YouTube. And also be sure to hit that little notification bell and that's gonna tell you every time that I post. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'm gonna see you guys really soon. TTFN, bye! Treasures!